Hello and welcome back to the Critic Uculus. We are once again in a Mountain Blade Warband and this is potentially the last episode in the little playthrough that we're doing. If of course you are enjoying it guys then don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts on the episode. You know, try and encourage more people to watch it and maybe, maybe we can continue our playthrough. Now in the last episode we kind of got our ours handed to us that's kind of been the running case throughout what we've been doing um we do however have 80 troops now though and we're looking for someone to help us level up what we've got left because the troops that we do have are well they're very very low leveled we're gonna pop over here and try and take these out it looks like these guys don't have oh, okay i was gonna say they don't have much but these guys are kind of isolated so we might be able to get away with chopping down a village or two see how this goes but the, but the only real problem is that these villages obviously belong to somebody and eventually they're going to come looking to defend their land. No hostile action can be taken because... Well, that's annoying. It now belongs to Swadia. Well, check us out. Looks like we've obviously captured this in the time it took us to march all the way over here. Very interesting. Go team. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're now at peace as well. Wow. We're not at war with anybody. What are we going to do with our lives? Um, let's go to market. How much money have we got? We don't have a lot. If you remember in the last episode we actually kind of kitted ourselves out so the fact that these guys have now made peace is kind of screwed us over a little bit but i very much doubt we're going to be at peace for very long i guess for now we could always go back to praven like i said i doubt we're going to be at peace for very long at all Yeah, we really wasn't in the running for a town, that's for sure. Um, let's go up here because there is a bandit camp. Now, we knew this bandit camp was here because we were kind of using it earlier. Um, but if we're not at war with anyone... Then we might as well clear out a little bandit camp, eh? No, our best troops definitely did not come with us this time, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if we can clear out this riffraff. Hey, don't run. Oh, you're a git. I just walked all the way up here, dude. Absolute muppet. There we go. So we've got a couple of guys along here by the looks of it. There's also a house down there with troops fighting. We really don't want to be on our jack. It looks like we are though. The troops that we have with us are probably going to die pretty quick, you see. There you go, that's him done.
we move so slow, not cool, not cool. One and done. I don't know if we have anyone with us. If we do, we're going to get them to follow us because sometimes these guys help us know where the bad guys actually are. Looks like he's up there. I don't know who he's shooting at. Oh, okay, I see him. I see the bandit. He's throwing stones. I believe that's it. Cool. We've got some stuff that we can sell. Let's go over here and sell that stuff. We're going to need um, money because we've got so many troops on us. That we're going to have to pay the wages. We only got 20 quid for that. Eesh, not cool. I wonder if we can start a little fight. Just a little one. You know? As it's peaceful and all. Uh, what they've got? Spearmen, veterans, trained crossbowmen. Probably not a fight. I want to fight. To be fair, attacking a little caravan might work. We didn't catch up to him, we're far too slow. How fast are we? 4.1, it's not too bad. Oh, okay. Uh, Gavinet Great Hall in Haringoth Castle. Let's see if we can find his castle. This is his castle. Okay, so there is a feast happening. Let's see. Let's have a little look, Celo. These are always half decent to attend. Unless there's no war going on, we might as well have a look. Join the feast. Sometimes you can get prestige. I think possibly only if you're the one hosting it. But it is a good place you can meet, you know, other people around. These, This bunch right here is a really good bunch to kind of make friends with. Really like them. Um, who do you think should receive the fiefdom of Gundam? Um, let me tell you, Goon, I support, can I convince you to support me instead? No, you cannot, but we don't have a very good relationship with him. If we had a better relationship, this is where we could do some moves. Most did we seriously give them our sausages? That's a bit mean of them, I think. I kind of wanted those sausages for me. Yeah, we're not.
not doing very much in training, are we? Don't want to recruit anyone. What I do want to do is attack some farmers. It's only 10 farmers, but hostile actions should mean we're able to raid um, a village. And picking on these guys, well, there's worse options. Now, picking on these, picking on anybody with a group of guys like this isn't so smart. But I do know that a good chunk of them are ready to train into mana arms. Those guys are actually good. Um... And with our better gear, we might actually be able to do some damage. It would have been nice to be part of a siege, actually. Unfortunately, we didn't get that opportunity. Um, but we would have definitely been able to boost up our weapon proficiency had we been a part of one. I cannot wait for Bannerlords 2 to be put onto console, to be fair. That game is a smashing game. Absolutely prefer playing on the, the Xbox, however. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully hopefully it doesn't come out with all the kinks that uh, Bannerlords originally come out with. I guess we're going to see. Okay, so now we've done that... Look at what we can do. Hostile action against a little town. Is it going to work? Well, we're about to find out. Hopefully these guys are at war. I, I want cash. So the more cash we get, um, you know, the more better gear we're going to be able to get. So absolutely happy with cash. Uh, let's go to party really quickly, go to footmen. We still can only do one of those. We can, however, get two more of them. So that's what we do. Let's go and sell this gear and go back up and see about starting another fight. The Nords and the Vigors have made peace. That is... We're 88 in debt right now, which isn't cool. Um, but again, this is why we needed to do what we were doing. Uh, go to... Go into the wrong places. Go to the market. Go to goods and sell all the junk. Sell the good gear too. There we go, go to the horse, sell, oh, too much, too much, we need all the money we can get, that will do, armour, well, that has some nice armour in here, Do they have anything like good, good seven grand? Can't afford it. Um, for six armor, over to two, seven armor over to two. We'll take that. We're going to sell the chicken because the chicken's going to go off and we still make 500 quid from that. I'm happy with that. We're up to 300 grand and we got a little bit better armor too. Pop into this tavern because I spied. Who did I spy? Nope. Yes. 
I did spy you. How do you do? It's got a longbow too, pretty handy with it as well, if I do say so myself. We do need another companion as we lost all the companions that we had earlier. And so I'll take that. She's not on horseback. Well, we don't have a spare horse currently. Um, so yeah, let's look and see who we can attack up here. Now I'm looking and I'm seeing that there is another couple of looted towns. So these guys are obviously at war with somebody. Uh, Shiraz, usually my capital, uh, if I try to have my own kingdom, that tends to be the first town I always, always take over. But the last thing we want to do is run into the Sultan. Okay, we could attack him. Oh, nice. A load of them is running away from someone. So if we're able to, we're not able to. Oh, that's annoying. We weren't able to go up against anybody there. The Sultan's actually in there as well, so we definitely want to avoid him. We don't... It's not that we don't have the troops to, you know, besiege. However, the likelihood of them not, you know, backing them up is extremely unlikely. That would probably end very, very badly for us. Ah, Swandia declared war. Nice. So we are going back down here, which is great for us because we actually wanted to take on one of these guys anyway. Oh, oh no. We've got problems. What has he got? Uh, he has... 21 veteran spearmen. He has a lot of spearmen, to be fair. He has four sharpshooters, and he has more men than us in general. Probably a bad matchup for us. Also a bad idea when it comes to... Let's see if we can... Yeah, he's still on our heels. Oosh, he got reinforcements. Where can we go? We can try and go up here. Nope. We're playing chicken. Where do we want to go? I want to go kind of close to our area. I want to see if I can bug these guys a little bit. I want to make money and I want to level up my troops. Oh, stop, stop. Oh, no. Problematic. Okay, so we got a tough fight on our hands. We got a very tough fight on our hands. Follow me. How many of us are actually going to survive? I've got no idea. Okay, we're in a village. Makes a bit of sense, actually. Um, as to how they got, you know, all those troops. It's because the village is on their side. So they've got a lot of low level troops, but they are matching us as well, so. 
need to remember that. Oh dear. We're getting swarmed. Swarm, swarm, swarmed. Don't want to be swarmed. Move, horsey. Seriously, move. Okay, so up to 140 weapon f proficiency. Got a ton of them following us. New enemies just arrived. Look at all that green though, which is really good for us. It means that our troops are actually doing some damage, which I like to see. Hey, uh, good little kill. Our horse is almost dead. Us being not on horseback, considering how slow we move, bad idea for us. Still getting some good kills on. That's a lot of troops. Hey, there's our boyos. Haha. -ha. Okay, may need to back up now if we can. Maybe he doesn't get out of the way. 142 on the weapon proficiency. There's all their archers. We don't want to mess around with them. Like seeing more green than anything else though. A few reds popping up. Reds obviously means, you know, our soldiers are dying, which we don't want. Let's see if we can get our troops actually together again. It looks like we won this, but that wasn't all of the troops. That was kind of like part one of the battle. Because of the way we have... Well, because I think because we're on console, we can only have so many people on screen at once. Um, so all 200 troops or 200 plus troops wouldn't have loaded in. Hey, troopies, how you doing? Battle one done, and there we go. Oh, okay, so we won. Um, they had a lot of losses, and now it's 53 versus 30. I'll take that. However, as you can see, we only have half health. Yes, our horse is um, back to fix. Obviously, we've got a new horse for this battle, um, but we are only half health, so we want to watch that. We are in, like, you know... We're attacking one of their villages, so the last thing we want to do is die. Oh, these guys are coming in with decent troops this time. few deaths unfortunately a good thing though this has been a really good battle so pretty much everyone that survives this is going to have a level up um and you know given a situation we're definitely going to take that if we do manage to get away from the village with the goods then i'm going to go on the recruit and recruit some more troops um obviously taking our leveled up troops with us Giving us an improved army, still level cap at around 80, I believe we are at the moment. 
we need to put some points in a few different things, get a bit more renowned. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're actually gaining renown for these battles that we're winning as well. Obviously, the more renown we have, uh, the you know the more troops we're gonna have follow us at one time. There we go. We won that, and we won that without taking a single point of damage. Meaning the next time we go into battle, we will have healed up a titchy tiny bit. There we go. See, we've got six renown for that. I think it's every five renown you get an extra. Um, let's quickly pop over to party. We're gonna go to these guys. Now we have 11 that we can level up. However, most of them are injured. We can have some more footmen. These guys are gonna be footmen. These guys, we are looking for trained crossbowmen now, which is fantastic. These guys are brilliant once leveled up. Okay, we're good. We're golden, I'm happy. Uh, continue looting, yes please. We can't be far off, do you know what I mean? Oh! That's not cool. We're screwed. Um, we'll fight to the end. Well, we can fight to the end, but the end is going to be the case of us losing. Stay your hand. There's something I must tell you in private. That's not going to work right now, as we have no relationship with him at all. Is there any way we can avoid the battle? I don't want to fight you. Again, that's not going to happen. Surrender's not going to work either. We're going to have to fight, but it's 213 versus R33. It's not happening. I did actually see what I should have done. Um, cover your retreats, go on and save the rest. Can we actually escape? So we've got 20 troops left, which is really not cool. However, these are, you know, good soldiers. I guess. Trained soldiers, better than where we were anyway. Oh, no. No, thank you. Let's pop into the town. Saves, save us a little bit. We got greedy. Simple as that. We won the battle and still wanted the loot. We should have won the battle and buggered off with the trained soldiers. That's what we should have done. It would have worked as well because all those soldiers were, you know, they were wounded, so they're waiting to get better. It would have been a smart play. Uh, not cool. Nope. Nope. Rubbish tavern for us. We have no goods. We probably do need to buy actually some more bread. Grain and bread. There we go. Um, let's run down here. Now we only have 20 troops on us. And so that's a small number, meaning even bandits are probably going to attack us. So we do need to pay a little bit of attention as we're riding through, like them. We have eight troops currently that are actually fit enough to battle. And we have no bloody health either. We should have stayed the night in the town. That's what we should have done. I mean, these guys are archers. So we might be able to do something against them. We killed one, so we're up against 19 now. 18, 17. Uh. 
16. Fourteen. How many troops we got left? We're up against five. We've got like a tap. One V two. Oh, okay, it was one V three. And one man left, I believe. No, I think he retreated. Okay, we won that, but it was tight. Probably shouldn't have won that at all. Um, how are we doing? Veteran crossbowmen, we have pretty much no one that can actually help us right now. Let's see if we can actually make it to this town and do a recruitment. We recruited five troops. I will take those five troops. That is five more than we actually had ready. Now for a stroll. Oh, we just run into looters, didn't we? Yes, sir, we did. Seven against eleven. That's the five that we just had. One actual train dude and me with no health. Bollocks. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. I know you just joined my mighty army and, uh, you know, hi, welcome to the ranks. So as you see, you got death running towards you. Go get them. You know, seriously, go do me a favor. Go kill them. It would be quite quite fun for me. Or it's up to Bob over here to shoot him all with his crossbow. Come on, Bob. Actually shoot someone. That was a lot closer, dude. Well done. No, missed again. Try again. One more. Nah. You're failing, mate. Luckily, these are forest bandits. Forest bandits are the weakest bandits in the game. And so even my little gits can help them out. Hey, 146 weapon proficiency. Not bad. Well done, troops. Never doubted you for a second. Um, we now have five milita. Well done, guys. Good leveling. Oh, we have walked into a trap. Never cool. And we've got no bloody health. Yay.
Traps happen every now and again. You know, you go to market, end up being jumped by bandits, just like real life. Now, where are the bad guys? Thanks, dude. Chopped off your arm and all that. Okay, well, that's cool. I would rather not get jumped again. But I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, I didn't mean to sell grain. And that'll do. Tavern. Who have we got in here? We have cavalry. I do want cavalry. Oh, we have two extra companions. Well, hello, guys. Um, if we can afford it, I'm going to hire them both. I believe this guy is actually um, the siege expert. So when we go to attack castles, he actually speeds things up for us. Um, it means we don't have to wait so long, which is really cool. I'm glad we got those two. We do definitely need horses, however. Um, what kind of money do we have? Because I think we've got three we need on horseback now. We have two grand. And they're not really worth spending that kind of money just yet. So we're going to run down here. I know what I should have done. I should have stayed the night again. Any bandits around? No, I think we're good. Okay. Recruit an extra six troops. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. Try and go here. We've got 27 troops, so hopefully that will be enough um, to stop people attacking us. I'm not sure how many of them are injured. we still got a good few of them injured. How many? Oh, no, only what, five. Do a bit more recruiting. Another two. Pop up here. Every day that goes past now, we are getting stronger. Getting those couple of decent troops back. And we're managing to recruit a few now too as well. They don't get on. I have to make a note of that. Send one of them out or something. There we go. Extra five. We'll visit this uh, this town up here as well. We're up to 40 troops now though. Uh, tavern. Who have we got? Who is that? Nope, don't need. Rolf, dude. Welcome back, friend. See, he instantly joined me because um, I hired him earlier. Spent the money, got the gear. Obviously, bad things happened. He ended up going bye-bye, but it's good to have him back. Guy's a legend. Um... We really don't want to risk that, do we? How many troops have we got? 42 troops. Oh, but we do have a couple of people wanting to level up. Uh, a footman. Some recruits. Oh, we should have gone for crossbowmen on those guys. I forgot my own advice. Let's pop along here. There you go. So we're actually making money right now. Uh, Amir does give us a little bit of cash. Obviously, we got that just for joining up with Swadia. Probably will um, betray them in the end anyway. Let's just get some more troops, 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 troops.
if we had more money, we could obviously hire the mercenaries from the towns, but because money right now is not in our going in our favor, we want to just be getting these guys. Um, get the better troops from them anyway. Those two really don't like each other. Um, but guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Oh, nice big number of seven. Like that. Brilliant. I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to comment your thoughts down below. Let me know if you want me to continue the playthrough or not. I love this game. Happy to play and to continue. I've had a blast. We haven't got done anywhere near as much as we possibly wanted to get done. Um, but it's been fun. Um, it's been a learning experience. I definitely need to get back into this game. Oh, trainer. Brilliant. Passive XP. Don't mind if I do. And tactics. That will help us when we are um well outnumbered as we seem to be a lot um, but guys i've been a monk we've been a chris Eculus, and i will see you in the next video real soon until then take it easy and of course happy gaming